Hi, this is Dave with DH Trees and Bees, and I just kind of want to give a quick update on my uh, pineapples I have in my yard. I use those as, uh, you know, basically understory plants. So, you, you know, I have a, a tree here, you, you know, I have a tree here, you know, six, eight feet apart, um, and I put pineapples in between them. The, um, the nice thing, you can see this one is coming in, and they're delicious, and they turn yellow, and I try to keep them on there as long as I can because that's, that yellow means it's ripening and it's the sweetest, and there's nothing like a, a, a pineapple that's sweetened on the, on the plant like this. Here's another one. Um, it's, this, it's the same uh, cultivar as that one. What they have is these little, they call slips. So these are little pineapple plants that you actually can uh, break off. And there you go. Now you have another pineapple plant. I can actually, and I will plant this. I'll let it harden off. I'll let it um, stay out for a day. And then I'll plant this, and it'll be another pineapple plant that I'll put in the yard somewhere. Or I'll sell, as I now want my uh, nursery. So, um, which is nice because allegedly that these come to fruition quicker. So this takes only a year and a half to produce a pineapple. And whereas if you take the crown and you cut it off and you stick that in dirt, that will grow as well. But that takes up to two years. Actually, I think it's 27 months. Here's some more pi pineapples in the yard. So you can see that this one is the type of variety that has slips as well. Just, uh, just real beautiful, real pretty to look at. Here's another one. Um, same thing with the slips on the bottom. I have to, uh, they say to leave those slips on for the most part. It protects the um, pineapple from sunburn, but uh, you know, I haven't seen any problems with taking them off. So um, there's another one with slips on it. This was a different type of pineapple. Um, I harvested it. It did not have slips, but notice what it did is it put out a pup, right? So right from that mother plant, it just kind of shot out a pup, and that's where next year's pineapple is going to come from. So I did have that, and there's, there's where it was, and it was an awesome, delicious pineapple. It really, nothing like you get in the store. Here's another pineapple, and you can see that um, it's, a, it's a little bit of a, well, I, I was going to say maybe this is an exception, that, um, that you, you know, you need full sunlight to get a pineapple, because I don't know if you can look above here. I mean, it is thick with leaves, so I don't think any sunlight's coming through here. So I kind of attribute that to um, better living through chemistry. So I hope that pineapple comes to fruition. Here's another pineapple. Again, um, same type. It's got the, um, the slips coming in on the bottom. Again, beautiful plant and, uh, and a great fruit. And I'll close out the pineapple discussion with a decorative pineapple. So this is an inedible pineapple per se. Um, what it, the whole pineapple, and it also has slips on it too. You can see that in there, right? There's a slips on there. Um, there's serrated edges in there, so I'm trying not to try not to get cut up unnecessarily. But the whole pineapple um, tastes like um, the core, so it still has a good taste. Um, but it has these beautiful, I guess, Art Deco, <laughs> um, pretty day glow uh, pink pineapples on there that you know, and the, and the plant will take over. You can see that this is I planted one plant and it's kind of spread out, so. I'm going to hack these up and, um, you know, and I'll sell them. All right. Thanks much for watching. Have a great day.